Hi guys, welcome to the tutorial. In the theory section, you learned about what is Java, what are the special features of Java, and what are the various versions of Java, and also the overview of Java programming. In this video, we will see how to install JDK, how to install Eclipse, and also we will see how to write a small demo program. First, we will see how to install JDK. To install JDK, we will get all the JDK downloads from the Oracle website. So, I have already opened the oracle.com website. In the download section, you have all the JDKs available for all different types of OS. Uh, currently, I am using Mac OS. So, I am going to download this Mac OS.dmg file. Before downloading, you have to accept the license. So, I am going to accept the license. After accepting license, you can download the DMG, DM, so .dmg file. If you are using Windows, or uh, any other uh, operating system, Linux or Solaris, you can download according to your operating system. Once the download is complete, you have to open the download folder. Click on show in folder, see, double click on the .dmg file. The verification process is going on. Yeah, it's saying double click on icon to install. Just do double click. Continue. Click on install. It's asking for password. Just give your system password. Click on install software. Installation is going on. So now I got message like the installation was completed successfully. Click on close. To check whether the JDK installed properly or not, open the terminal. If you are using Windows, you can open the command prompt. Type Java C hyphen version. You can see the version which has been installed in your machine. See, in my machine, I have installed JDK 1.8. So this has been updated. From www.eclipse.org website, you can get the Eclipse downloads. So I have opened the website. See here, you have all the Eclipse downloads available. Here also, you have to select the operating system. I'm using Mac, so I'm selecting this Mac OS X. And also, I am going to download this Eclipse IDE. My machine is 64-bit machine, so I am going to select this file. Click on download. So, the download process has been started. Once the download has been completed, open the downloads folder. Here we have got the .dmg. Eclipse fold Eclipse file. Double click on the .dmg file. The verification process is going on. I'm just dragging this Eclipse into applications folder. So now from the applications folder, I can see the Eclipse. See, see this is the Eclipse icon. Double click the icon to open. Verification process going on. Eclipse is an application downloader from the internet. Are you sure want to open it? Yes. Click on open. Eclipse is opening. It's asking for workspace location. I'm just selecting the, selecting the default location. Click on launch. Workspace location is nothing but the location where the program will be stored. Now the Eclipse has been opened. To write a small program, you have to create a uh, Java project. For that, click on the icon in the top, New. Select Java project. It's asking for project name. For demo purpose, I'm just going to give a demo project. In this section, you can select the JRE version. 
If you have one or more JRE versions available in your machine, you can select according to your project. Click on Next. Here the default output folder location has been mentioned. If you want to change the output folder location, you can change. Then click Finish. Now the demo project has been created. This is the project folder. Here you have the source folder and the JRE library which we have included. Now you have to create a sample class. For that from the source folder right click new select class. Now you have to give the class name. I am just giving example as a class name. Now I have got the warning saying that type name is discouraged. By convention type name usually start with an uppercase letter. So uh, I am going to give this E as a capital letter. Click on this checkbox public static void main. Click on finish. The example.java class has been created. In this class, I just want to print hello as the output. So for that, I have to type system dot out dot println. Inside the quotes, I have to type whatever I want to get as the output. I just say hi, sorry, hello. Control S to save, right click, run as Java application to run the program. The program has been successfully compiled and executed. Hello has been printed. If you want to change to something else, you can change. Again Control S to save, run as Java application. See hello, how are you which has been printed as the output. Thank you for watching tutorial. Have a great day.